Do you know that wealthy people are not smarter than you? They just have smart habits. And did you know that if you develop the same great habits, you can also become wealthy? Welcome to the Wisdom Inspired Talks podcast. I am Yomi Akekwelu, your wisdom coach, speaker, teacher, and author of Blow the Cup of Your Capability and other books. In this podcast, I'm going to share with you five habits of millionaires from research conducted on hundreds of millionaires and wealthy people. So let's dive right in. Habit number one, reading. Reading is how you receive the accumulated knowledge of thousands of wise people developed over their lifetime in hours. You don't have to struggle, fail, suffer, or pass through their experiences to learn about them. You don't have to learn from UHK. What? University of Hard Knocks. I mean the Hard Knocks of life. Otto von Bismarck said, Fools say that they learn by experience. I prefer to profit by others' experiences. That's what books can do for you. Profit of the experience of others. Books can point you in the right direction, motivate you enough to fight for your goals. When your passion is fledging, books can ignite a fire in you. However, you must take prompt action on what you learn. Otherwise, you just have a head full of knowledge and you'll just be a brilliant poor man. Research shows that the average millionaire reads about 50 books a year, but the unsuccessful read less than five a year. Which category do you fall into? Charlie Munger, the billionaire investor friend of Warren Buffett said, in my whole life, I have known no wise person who didn't read all the time. None. Zero. Even the Bible says that by wisdom a house is built, by understanding it is established, and by knowledge rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Furthermore, the Bible says wise people treasure knowledge, but the babbling fool invite disaster. Also, it says to acquire wisdom is to love yourself. People who cherish understanding will prosper. The book of Proverbs says, the wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. All this wisdom comes from reading and learning from the experiences of others. So, in summary, why is reading such a powerful habit? It's simply because reading is learning from others' knowledge. What has taken others 5 years, 10 years, 25 years, 50 years, you get that same knowledge in the few hours or days that it takes to read that book. A book is basically distilled knowledge, a shortcut to wisdom and wealth. Habit number two, wealthy people take action. If you don't just want to be a brilliant poor man, after all that reading, you must take action. Take action because men of action are favored by the goddess of luck. Talk is cheap. Be a doer, not a procrastinator. Take the opportunities. Take calculated risk. Motivate yourself. Be diligent. It's not luck. It's about taking action. Act when the time is right because great opportunities are rare. Opportunities to buy real estate at a good price. Opportunities to invest in the stock market even when there is a downturn in the market so you can pick up undervalued shares. Take action to invest during times of financial crisis. You might need to cut your expenses to be able to take advantage of such opportunities, but you must take action. 
successful people have a bias towards action. They take prompt action. So don't keep waiting for everything to be perfect. Jump and grow your wings on the way down. In other words, start now and perfect the process as you go along. Take the first step and then you'll see better how to take the second, the third, the fourth and the fifth step. And one of the best actions you can take even right now is to hit that subscribe button. Act now. Knowledge without action is nonsense. Power is unleashed by prompt action. Quit talking, take action. Habit number three, association. Who you associate with is very, very important. Millionaires associate with millionaires and successful and wealthy people like themselves. An association doesn't have to be in person. It could be with people, their books, their podcasts like this one. When you hang around nine broke people, you're going to be the tenth one, said somebody. When you hang around nine millionaires or people on their way to wealthy status, you'll learn their ways, you'll have goals like they do, and you're likely to develop habits like them. There's an African proverb that says, if you run alone, you run fast, but if you run with others, you go far. Speed is not necessarily success. So don't mistake speed for success. Lasting success takes time to build and things that last and endure are often not built individually. Having people of like mind around you will help in times when you feel like throwing in the towel and quitting. Having successful, growth-minded and goal-oriented people around you will rub off on you. They can help remind you that success is within your reach. You can copy their habits and ways of doing things. A single tree is not called a forest. Lions go hunting in pride to achieve greater success. Rarely do people ever succeed alone. Warren Buffett had Charlie Munger. So value your associates because you know what they say, you are the average of your five closest associates and if you hang around nine broke people you'll be the tenth one in the same way if you hang around millionaires and wealthy people you copy their habits and you will be like them your associations the environment of your life affect you more than your genes or pedigree you don't have to know a millionaire or wealthy person personally, just by listening to their podcasts, reading their books, which is a distillation of their best thoughts and ideas, discoveries, experiences, failures and successes, you can get to glean from their wisdom or even get to know how they think and would act in various situations. And you can simply copy them, no need to reinvent the wheel. So you can associate with Warren Buffett, Oprah Winfrey, Dave Ramsey, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Terry Savelle, Yomi Akipelu, that's me, simply by reading our books, listening to our podcasts or videos. So associate with the best and you'll be mentored by the best. Millionaire habit number four. Well, the people have good financial habits. I'll break that down into four parts. They avoid debt unless it makes them money. They live beneath their means. They live on a budget. They save and they invest. Okay, so they avoid debt unless it makes them money. Debt is financial quicksand. It sinks your potential wealth faster than anything because the interest you have to pay on the debt, especially if it's credit card debt or loans from higher purchase or, God forbid, payday loans, 
the interest you have to pay on this is usually way more than the interest that you would get from your savings or your investments. Warren Buffett told a story of his friend who said, all I want to know is where I'm going to die and I'll never go there. Buffett used this story to make a point. That is, using credit cards is where your wealth dies. In other words, it's guaranteed to kill your wealth, particularly carrying a revolving credit from month to month, paying the minimum payment. He said, don't use credit cards. It will keep you out of trouble if you stay away from it. If you keep away from credit cards, you'll be ahead of the game. Carrying a revolving credit card balance, for example, 18% APR, will kill you financially because you can hardly get an investment which will give you the profit of 18%. So you are paying out more than you are receiving and therefore you are going down, he says. So wealthy people avoid high interest credit cards or loans. They only use debt when it's making them money or when it will make them money. The second financial habit of the millionaire is that they live beneath their means. Although it's a popular cliche, it's true. Living below your means is the thread that holds every aspect of your financial life together. Without it, financial freedom is impossible. It's like driving a car with the wheels off. You won't be going anywhere fast. This is an area of struggle for most people due to the easy accessibility of credit cards. But you really have to master this habit of living beneath your means. If you don't free yourself from this habit, you won't have spare cash to create wealth. Living below your means is an age-old, unshakable, inescapable skill you need to master to be able to start your journey to wealth creation. You must master it and you do so by budgeting. And budgeting is telling your money where to go each month instead of wondering where it went. And you spend less when you live on a budget. Living on a budget is a millionaire habit. Also, spending cash more than credit cards because we generally spend less when we spend cash than when we spend plastic. Learn to delay gratification by buying stuff when you actually have saved up for it instead of instantly gratifying that need with explosive plastic. Cut unnecessary spending from your budget and avoid the triggers that make you spend or lose your resolve to spend within your means. If you have to, leave the credit card at home or freeze it in ice. Yes, water in the freezer. Before you thaw or melt out that ice, you might have lost the urge to splurge on anything unnecessary. Also, automate your savings and bill payment. Set up a standing order or direct debit to take out money from your current account the moment your income is paid in there. You really must live beneath your means to be able to build wealth. I am a Christian and the Bible admonishes and supports living below your means. The Bible says, the wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. In other words, it is stupid to spend all you earn. I'm sorry, there's no easier way to say it. According to the Bible, you are a fool if you spend all you earn. But I know that's not you. The Bible also says, those who love pleasure, that is luxury, will become poor. Those who love wine will never be rich. In other words, indulging in a life 
of luxury, aka spending more than you earn, will never make you wealthy. Millionaires are frugal people. Good example is Warren Buffett. He lived in his house for 31 years, which he bought in 1958. He doesn't have the largest house on his street. He doesn't drive the most expensive car. And the same can be said for many. Mike Zuckerberg drives a modest car. The founder of IKEA, Kamprad, drives an old Volvo, wears second-hand clothes, gets cheap haircuts, and so on and so forth. The fourth financial habit of millionaires is savings. For money to work for you, you have to have money. You can never get rich by working for money. You have to have money working for you because you cannot work 24 seven. However, your money can work for you while you are sleeping and doing other things. And to make money, you have to invest. But the foundation for investing is to first have savings. And the most important thing about saving is this. Don't save what is left after spending. Spend what is left after saving and investing. Your saving is the foundation to wealth because it is from your savings that you have to invest. Without saving, you cannot invest. And without investing, you cannot build substantial wealth. The fifth financial habit of successful people is investing. It doesn't matter where you start with investing. What matters is that you start because 10 years from now, you wish you had started 10 years ago. Time and the wonders of compound interest works wonders for your returns. So invest you must. With investments, it's not timing the market, it's time in the market that works for you. I have other videos where I talk about investing, I talk about reading, taking action, associations, and more details on savings. So now let's go to the fifth habit of millionaires, and that is self-discipline. Every great human achievement requires a certain level of discipline. Having a goal or a desired target and writing down your plans to achieve them is very important. But the fuel required to move the vehicle of your goals and dreams is your discipline. Without discipline, that plan will not move off the ground. Discipline is doing whatever it takes to achieve a set goal. A wise man said, there are 999 keys to success. But without discipline, none of them work. It might require you to get out of bed by 5 a.m. or to go to bed by 10 p.m. You do it whether you feel like it or not. Having a desire or goal and plans for success is great, but without developing the required discipline to do the necessary, all that desire and planning is a futile exercise. Becoming disciplined starts with small, deliberate actions repeated consistently day in and day out. If you can wake up at a regular or set time every day and make your bed, you are already ahead of most people. Successful people use discipline to build habits that ensure they muster the willpower to put in the required work that will help them achieve their goals. A wise man said, success is tons of discipline. Now let's recap five millionaire habits. Reading, taking prompt action, 
the right associations, good financial habits, and self-discipline. Let me leave you with two quotes before we go. Discipline is the soul of an army. It makes small numbers formidable, procures success to the weak and esteem to all, says George Washington. And Theodore Roosevelt said, with self-discipline, almost everything is possible. And that is all for today. But before you leave, smash the subscribe button, comment below and tell me which of these habits you already are practicing or you intend to take up. And that is all for today. Until next time, keep on growing in wisdom and maturity. Blow the cup of your capability. Be unstoppable. Be awesome. I'm cheering you on.